We have been best friends since high school. <laughs> For 10 years was one of my best friends. And when he asked me out, I knew, I don't know, something deep inside me was like, this is it. <laughs> so it took me a while to answer him. <laughs> I can see you in the meadow holding out your hand. my best friends like you know if I wanted to play video games with somebody it was her if I wanted to go out to eat it was her um, like anytime I hit up all of my closest friends were all hanging out you know she was in that circle so I mean I just knew that like he's somebody that would never give up on me and I would never give up on him because our friendship is just too strong and that's something I never want to lose so I think that you know, that really solidified everything. Not that I knew I was going to get married to him in that moment, but, you know, I knew there was, this was going to be different. There's a way that people kind of just gravitate towards her. Uh, and I think it's because she shows how much she cares first. Like, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um. He doesn't realize how selfless he is and um, he's so passionate about, about everything that he does to the point where like he burns himself out and I kind of have to remind him like, hey, you can't do this with everybody. <laughs> you can say no sometimes and you know, I have to bring him back down to reality. But I love that about him and that he's a family person, you know, because I'm a family person and he's just so funny and he's cute. <laughs> uh, the first look for sure. Yeah, that's, that's the one that I've been thinking about the most. How I'm going to react when I see her for the first time, it's, that's the one that I get the most excited for, for sure. Getting to be with him that whole day, like where I'm going to try not to leave his side that day, aside from the bathroom. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, just being with him that whole day, I think will be really fun. See, honestly, when she was in her makeup, in that white dress that she, we took all the pictures in and everything, I, I, it started getting a little real for me then. Like, I started feeling a little emotional seeing her just today. So I don't know how I'm going to react, honestly. So I knew. <laughs> um, I didn't know exactly what day, but he planned a whole weekend getaway, and he doesn't plan anything. So that really, you know, I was like texting my mom, texting my friends, like, hey, I think I'm getting engaged on this weekend, on this day. And they obviously were all in on it. I had let her best friend know. I had gotten, um, getting the blessing from people that I wanted to get it from was really tricky because I'm pretty old fashioned in that I want to like sit them down, maybe bring over some food or have them over for dinner. But the gig would be up if, if that would have happened. All of our family outings, if my best friend, her cousin was there, while she went to the bathroom, I'd pull him aside and say, hey, asking for your blessing. And then, you know, awesome, I got it. Her mom and her stepdad, same thing. She went off to the bathroom and I had to make sure, it was like, hey, we got like 30 seconds, you know, you know, uh, do I have your blessing to marry your daughter, your stepdaughter? And then, you know, got the blessing from them. And then her dad and her little brother, same thing, where I had to be as covert as possible. We went to a flower field. We told some really good friends of ours um, to meet uh, in Williamsburg to go to the lavender fields and everything and something I'd known for quite a while her best friend I, I just gave her a call and just let her know it's like you know I want to marry Jada and then I went out to my best friend told him you know I want to marry Jada and all this had to be like while she was in the bathroom and like we had 20-30 seconds for me to do this so everything was super covert I had a good plan of wanting to do it on a hike originally, and I guess one of our friends overreacted a little bit in public, and as soon as you know, I said, hey, I want to marry Jada, it was like, oh my gosh, no way. And then I guess she might have heard it because my best or her best friend, who was my insider, texted me and said, hey, 
She knows you want to propose this year, by the way. So you got to figure something out. So I was like, okay, well, I clearly can't use that, that group of friends anymore because we were there together and she's going to suspect it. So I have to do something else. He was growing out a mullet and a mustache and I hated him. I hated the way that it looked. And I told him like, can you please like just shave it? Like, and I told, and he was like, I guess he had like a bet with his friend or something and he couldn't shave it. And I told him, well, I'm not gonna kiss you until you shave it. So we didn't kiss for a good like month or two. Yeah, like I'd hug him, but I'd be like, are you gonna shave it today? And he's like, no. And I was like, okay, no kiss. Our friend Carla kind of came in clutch and was like, hey, well, how about we take her to a really nice Italian restaurant so that she gets dressed, gets all fancy, and you know, by the time she, you're ready to propose, she'll look, she'll look beautiful for the pictures and it'll be great. I have like this monthly get together with my gals and we like to go out and try new restaurants. And they all messaged me and they were like, hey, let's try out this new restaurant in Norfolk. You have to dress up. It's a really nice restaurant. And I was just like, okay, sure. And he pretended to like be out with his friends that day. So like I thought nothing of it. She was hungry around six. Well, I was needing to be there by seven. <laughs> so they kind of started swerving and making sure that like, hey, um, I need a little more time. Okay, we're gonna go the wrong way for, for a little bit. Okay, I need a little more time. Okay, we're gonna argue at Starbucks or something like that. And it's just like, oh man. Um, so while they're distracting her on this girl's night out and everything, I'm supposed to get this prop up. I'm supposed to get everybody, all the family together, hiding away somewhere in the pagoda. My dad was supposed to have this prop ready by like tonight. I went to go get my haircut, got an outfit, and then when I called him, I was like, hey, is the prop ready? He was like, oh, uh, I thought you needed that for tomorrow. I was like, oh, no, <laughs> no, we need to, we need to get these screws into two by fours, build this stand in 30 minutes and get there. So that's, that's why I had to buy all this time. That's why I had to take all these turns. She's getting hungry, she's getting angry. Luckily, we got everything up in time and I let them know that, hey, I'm in position. You guys can bring her on through, so. Stop by the pagoda at Norfolk. I'm hiding behind the prop. We are walking towards the pagoda and I see all my friends like with their phones out. And I'm just like, oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> she's walking over and um, I'm nervous as hell, I'm like, um, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to, you know, how I'm supposed to pop out, what I'm going to do. He came behind this little like lemonade stand looking thing with flowers and drapes. It was really pretty. And I have all this tension built up and, you know, I pop out from the prop when she knocks on it and... He had no mustache. He had no mullet. And I was like, okay, this is it. <laughs> I'm getting ready to propose and I'm halfway down on the knee and then we just heard a splash. My friend who was recording, she um, backed up a little too far and backed up into the pond and she, all you hear is a big splash like right before he took a knee. So the splash comes over, I'm like, oh, that's, that's a really weird way for a goose to land in a pond or something. So we look over, our friend that was supposed to be recording ends up tumbling over the bridge, falls in the water. And it was great. <laughs> There's a video of it, of me actually like getting down for a second and then looking over, it's like, oh. He had to stop asking me to marry him to make sure that she was okay. So we both ran over to her. This would be really unfortunate if we have to go to the hospital on the day I propose. So let's make sure she's okay. So we go over and yeah, sure enough, she, she's laughing. She thinks she ruined the night. She was fine. She was like, I'm so sorry, but proceed, proceed. <laughs> Honestly, it just made our night even better. Um, made sure she was okay and then went back to the proposal and got on one knee and asked her to marry me. It was really fun. It was nice to see my family all there and all my friends that could make it, so. And I also had a Jimmy John sandwich because I knew she would be hungry. <laughs> so, expecting dinner, it's like, hey, you're not, you're not getting dinner, we're getting married. Here's something, so. Yeah, he did shave before that. <laughs> I just knew for, for whatever reason, before I even asked her out, I, I knew she'd be, she'd be good for me.